Israeli attack on Gaza shelter kills 15 members of one Palestinian family. The Israeli military bombed a warehouse sheltering displaced Palestinians in the Az Zawada area of central Gaza, killing 15 members of one family, including nine children. The civil defense spokesman in Gaza, Mahmoud Basil, said on Saturday that 15 people killed in the overnight attack were members of the Ajla family, with three women among the dead. The total death toll from the attack was 16. Reporting from Deir el Bala in central Gaza, Al Jazeera's Tariq Abu Azam said three Israeli missiles hit the warehouse located a few kilometers south of the Nuzirat refugee camp. A massive fire broke out, burning everything in the warehouse as children were torn to pieces. Rescue efforts are still continuing to try to recover more bodies, he said. There is a great level of frustration and grief. The bodies are now being lined up at Al-Aqsa Hospital's morgue as the family gets ready to bury them. The attack took place after international mediators, the United States, Qatar and Egypt, wrapped up ceasefire negotiations in Doha on Friday that they described as serious and constructive, aimed at ending the war and seeing the release of Israeli captives in Gaza for Palestinians jailed in Israel. What have they done to deserve this? Ahmed Abu Algul, a local who witnessed Israel's latest assault told the AFP news agency. Al Jazeera's Abu Azam reported more air attacks mainly on residential houses in Enclave with one of them killing at least seven Palestinians from the same family on the western side of the Nuzirat refugee camp, we are observing that the latest Israeli strikes have been wiping out whole families, he said.